Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host, Bruce Outrich, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is episode number 1046 and it's a turn back Tuesday. You know what that means? All right, folks, turn back the clocks, clean up the spokes. This is another edition of Turn Back Tuesdays with your host, Bruce Out. All right, that's right. And our Turn Back Tuesday today is who is the founder of trucking? Who actually started this industry and got things going? And when did that happen? And we're going to tell you all about it right after this. We just got to get through this uh, commercial with Mr. But with Bison. So our uh, Turn Back Tuesday is another history lesson to let you know about things. And, you know, even for us that have been in the industry for a long time, we may not know when things started, how they started, or why they started. And uh, one of the things is who was the founder of trucking? Who actually got our industry started? Now, um, there's probably going to be a little bit different, but if you go uh, into Alexander Winton, uh, in 1980, and sorry, 1898, Alexander Winton built the first semi-truck. Winton was a Scottish immigrant and owner of the Winton Motor Carriage Company in Cleveland, Ohio. His company sold automobiles, which were called horseless carriages at the time. And... uh (laughs) I could see I could see how that's uh, uh, in the late 1800s and early 1900s the first semi trucks Alexander Wynn built the first semi truck. Um and then customers sometimes live far away from Cleveland, so Winton had to find a way to get their vehicles to them without causing damage or adding mileage. And so he <laughs> built the flatbed semi truck. And the horse's carriage would be on a platform and attached to another vehicle in front of it. And in 1899, Winston Winston Winton sorry sold his first semi truck. In 1914, Detroit blacksmith August Charles Fruhoff took semi trucks to the next level. He used his vehicles for hauling lumber and started the Fruhoff Trailer Company in 19. 19- and the semi-trailer design allowed trucks to haul more types of freight, but railroads were still the dominant method of shipping at the time. In 1910, uh, we went into the World Wars, and so World, 1910 to World War I, uh, during that same period, Fruhoff was the first of uh, semi-trailers, but the World War I was raging in Europe, and the United States sent semi-trucks overseas, and military used these vehicles for a variety of operations. And the war uh, about significant improvements in tractor-trailer design, such as air-filled pneumatic tires instead of the rough all-rubber tires that were common prior to this time. 1930s, uh, ATA Motor Carrier Act and reefers started. Uh, 1940s, World War II and post-war boom took trucks to another level. 50s and 60s, the highway construction uh, time and the DOT were, were, uh, were caused there. And then 70s to 80s, trucking was in popular culture. As you know, some of the best songs and movies came out of that day. Uh, and today... Um, you know what? There's lots of opportunity to be a driver if you want. So there you go. That's a little history lesson of our of uh, when the industry started, who the founder was. It was, um, was 
uh, Alexander Winton was the. Uh, and if you are uh, if you are of uh, trucker taxes, because <laughs> you went and bought a semi, <laughs> then you might need these guys over at RS two thousand. All right, so there you go. So if you bought a uh, semi truck anywhere between 1898 and today, you might need their services for sure. Anyway, that's a little bit of the history. That's our Turn Back Tuesday. Uh, as you know, we uh, do these just to uh, bring a little bit of uh, life back in history, and hopefully, uh, somebody that's new would, you know, listen to this and go, "Oh yeah, that's when it started." It's always good to know where your roots come from. I know that's how I learned about country music. Um, I would listen to the new artists and the new artists talk about but the old artists and so I thought this would be something similar so hope you're enjoying it hey if you want to follow us on our socials we're on Instagram Facebook uh, Twitter X whatever you're calling <laughs> TikTok and LinkedIn and of course you can uh, check out our YouTube channel it's got all the all the videos and stuff for our for our episodes in fact you can listen to our episodes right on YouTube if you want uh, now that they're uh, doing their own podcast thing as well so there you go thanks for listening everybody hope you're having a great day and be safe out there. We'll talk to you next time, okay? Bye for now. This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit the leadpedalpodcast.com and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.